In the first few decades of the 20th century, if a young city dweller in India got a government job, everybody would say, how lucky he got a government job, his life is made. At that time, path to a good life was becoming a graduate and then getting a government job. Or if you didn't get a government job, then joining a reputed private company. Once hired, people would work with the same employer all their life and retire with savings in their provident fund and possibly a lifelong pension. In the last few decades of the 20th century, this picture changed. Definition of a young person being lucky became, she got a job with the MNC and lived happily ever after. This idea of first learn, then work got challenged. And to succeed in your career, you constantly needed retraining. This retraining was mostly provided by the employer in the form of seminars and conferences, executive courses and sabbaticals. People now didn't do the same job all lifelong. Instead, they changed jobs a few times in their career. Definition of a job is changing again. Earlier, we thought of a job as a service. A person is capable of providing a service for which an organization is willing to pay that person a salary. Now, we think of a job as a person's ability to add value. In any product or service, how much value can a person add? That ability gets that person due compensation, which could be in the form of fees, salary, bonus, profit sharing or shares in a company. Say a group of entrepreneurs plan to start an IT company that will offer a new software to the banks. You have experience and expert knowledge of banking. You can offer your experience and knowledge to this group and if they believe that your talent will help them improve their software, they will offer you compensation commensurate with your talent. You can also bargain with them to improve the offer. Your expert knowledge, talent, skill or experience are the basis of your ability to add value. To succeed in today's economy, you can no longer remain a passive job seeker. You have to learn to invent a job for yourself. For this, you need to take your knowledge, talent, skills and experience, package them nicely, then market them. The good news is that if you have exceptional knowledge, talent, skill or experience, you can market it globally using the internet. Wherever your talent is in demand, today it is possible to meet this demand sitting right at home. A multitude of online marketplaces or platforms have emerged that aggregate buyers and sellers of a talent. If you make handmade things, then on Etsy website you can sell your exquisite wear. If you are an artist, designer or an animator, then on Fiverr you can get freelance work from across the globe. If you are good at computer programming, then you can find projects on Upwork. If making films is your passion, then on 90 seconds website you can find buyers. If you have a magical voice, then on Voice123 website you can find freelance voiceover work. If you are an engineer who likes to solve complex problems, then there are many companies that put their engineering problems online and reward the person who finds the solution. Moreover, the recognition you get by winning such a reward is an added benefit. Because in today's world, recognition has become the way to making more money. These are just a few examples. There are many more online platforms that consolidate the fragmented demand for knowledge, talent, skills and experience and have become a marketplace for them where buyers and sellers can transact. Payment is made through online banking and buyers and sellers don't cheat because their reputation is at stake. After each transaction, buyers and sellers can rate each other. Rating puts their reputation at stake and if the buyer's reputation gets tarnished, no seller will sell to that buyer and vice versa. The main point here is that the nature of work and its economics is changing. This freelance, on-demand economy is being called the gig economy. The word gig as used in this context has been borrowed from the music industry. Musicians don't have full-time jobs but live from one performance to another. The performances they do are called gigs. Performance and project-based way of working is the reason why this emerging global economy is being called the gig economy. Earlier, self-employed individuals and micro-enterprises could only cater to the local demand because they didn't have funds to market their offering and demand for their offering was very fragmented. They relied on word-of-mouth publicity and middlemen. The middlemen could also exploit the uninformed artisans. But today, a self-employed individual or micro-enterprise using an online platform can market their talent globally. Their talent could be a traditional craft or a cutting-edge skill like 3D animation. To succeed in the gig economy, you have to become very good at what you do. This could be your exceptional talent, deep experience, specialized knowledge or a sought after skill. To make the most of this emerging economy, you will have to work hard to develop such a talent. Online marketplaces I've mentioned so far are labor dependent. Today, online platforms are also emerging for capital. 
If you are lucky enough to have a flat in a city with an unoccupied room or a countryside bungalow that mostly remains empty, you can offer these to tourists on Airbnb. If you are an entrepreneur, you can even think of starting your own online marketplace. If there is a niche product or service whose demand is fragmented, then you can aggregate the buyers and sellers of this demand. Say an aggregator for tuition providers, where tuition can be provided face to face or online, or a platform for some special type of music, or a platform for providing handyman for household chores. If you can imagine a niche or unique service that can be provided online and you're not afraid to take a little risk, then today you can consider creating a new online platform. A famous economist has rightly said, risk takers are profit makers. Most people think that they will first make some money and then they will do the work they are passionate about. Emerging gig economy is giving you an opportunity to do work that you find exciting and also make money. If you are talented, then this new economy is offering you a chance to live a flexible life. Work hard and play hard. With more time for leisure, you could travel, develop a hobby or spend more time with your family. Besides flexibility and autonomy, gig economy also offers you a chance for creative expression. You can even set a noble objective, like reviving the demand for a fast disappearing craft so that those artisans can earn their livelihood. You can also acquire mastery in what you love doing. And autonomy, mastery and purpose are the three drivers of intrinsic motivation. The gig economy offers you a chance to fulfill these three objectives and live a purposeful and joyful life. But it is not as if gig economy has no downsides. There is no fixed income. There is no guarantee what you will earn from one month to the next. Income volatility also means that you may find making future plans difficult. Organizations like a bank that require a salary proof to give you a loan may also create problems. And you are definitely not getting any pension or provident fund. This is the price you pay for the upsides of the gig economy. You will have to consider how talented you are, how much confidence you have in your talent. What is your financial position? What is your risk appetite? What is the definition of a life well lived? Whatever you're thinking, today you can go after a reservations based government job or seek employment in a private company or join a multinational or in the emerging gig economy, you can do freelance work. Or if it is feasible, you can find the right mix like three days a week working in a private company and two days freelancing in the gig economy. Most important thing is that you must be aware of all the opportunities and possibilities available today so that you can make an informed decision. That is the objective of this video.